decided to walk uh, to the Ayala Mall because it's only 500 meters. And yeah, this is the bridge that we took to cross the street. But from my peripheral, I'm not really seeing that much of a sidewalk. So yeah, let's see how this goes. There's not that much of a of a walk path, but yeah. So where we came from, you can already see such a contrast. Straight ahead, you have all the buildings. It looks very metropolitan compared to back there. So there's quite um, like a division with. I guess it's the same in Manila too. The moment you get to BGC, you feel like you're separate from the rest of Manila. Or when you get to Makati, it definitely is not the same as Quiapo. So yeah, we are entering the Ayala part of Cebu City. But here we are in the Ayala Mall. You know you're back in the city when you see an H&M. Let's go in! We're such grown-ups. We are at a place called Time Zone and we are about to do some games. Market and during election they stopped selling liquor so that's from May 8th the day before the elections and then May 9th there's no alcohol now we are in the wine section because Eddie would like to have some wine uh, usually in the evening when we watch something on Netflix but for me I'm having my Dairy Queen yeah what, what wine is that? no oh, Hardee's that's what? Hardee's bus ride and we're gonna walk to the house from here or to our accommodations finally back home to our place at the flying fish we are staying at the Boracay room the other rooms are quite cool because it's named Shurgao, Kumikin and those are the other islands in the Philippines but for now, it's nice to be back. I really love this room. This room, everything's so quirky. Good morning. It's our 
our last day here in Cebu City. I'm sorry if the room is a little messy, but today we are heading off to da -da -da -da, Mual Bual. We still don't know what time the transportation is going to be leaving from Cebu, so from Cebu City. So we'll just have to wait and see. If you've seen my other videos, traveling around the Philippines is, uh, well, particularly in the province, it's a bit tricky because there aren't really specific times the vans and buses leave. So it's just all pure luck. Hopefully, when we get to the terminal, we have transportation waiting for us. Right now, I borrowed some some dishes from the kitchen here at Fly Fish Hostel. It's a hostel, but we have our own room. I love it here because it has so much character. Everywhere you look, it's like a work of art. Like the chair here is pretty colorful. The painting behind me is, I don't know, quite provocative. Very, very unusual artwork. But right now, Eddie is taking a dip in the pool. I, I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird because I'm having the sniffles. I've been having colds since two days ago, but there is Eddie. He's enjoying the sun. Wow. Well, that's Eddie enjoying the pool. I've been struggling with my sniffles for the past couple of days and it's not cool. I think it started at the ATV. Um, Eddie wasn't doing so well inhaling the volcanic dust. And then whatever he got, I think it, it just went to me. So we were thinking it was probably, we were thinking it's probably allergies. But I don't know, it's, um, it's, not, it's not cool to be have sniffles because if you want to go diving like we did we went to see the manta rays and the whale sharks well whale sharks was just swimming the manta rays we had to dive about 25 meters below you can't do that when you have cold so i'm doing my very best to stay healthy and have my lungs clear of any sniffles <laughs> cover grab has arrived let's go get some unlimited chicken wings Sorry. Okay. Good afternoon. 